Concerning the regional dispute over the Moroccan Sahara, I would like to reaffirm the full support of the Republic of Suriname to the Kingdom of Morocco's territorial integrity by reiterating the unwavering position concerning the Moroccanity of the Sahara and the sovereignty of the Kingdom of Morocco over its southern provinces. The government of Suriname supports fully the autonomy plan proposed by the Kingdom of Morocco as the unique framework for the lasting political solution. I also had the opportunity to personally express the profound appreciation of the government and people of the Republic of Suriname for the support received from Morocco in the execution of various development projects during the roadmap number one. The bilateral meeting today concluded with the signing of the joint communique, as indicated, and the roadmap for the period 2021-2024. This roadmap, in our view, will further, Mr. Minister, consolidate the excellent existing friendly relations between Suriname and Morocco to promote beneficial cooperation. We have also agreed to the establishment of a follow-up mechanism to monitor the implementation of the aspects in the new roadmap. I have also discussed with my colleague and good friend to explore opportunities for enhanced business-to-business -business relations, to promote foreign direct investment, and to enhance the partnership within the framework of South-South cooperation, including trade. And we look forward to a trade mission going to Suriname to discuss the specifics of this relationship. In this regard, the government of the Republic of Suriname announces, and I just want to confirm what Minister Burita has indicated that it has decided to establish an embassy in Rabat and a consulate in Dakla. In order to give further impetus to our bilateral cooperation and the promotion of investments and business. لقد عرفت علاقات بلادينا تطورا مهما منذ سحب جمهورية سوريا مع اعترافها بالجمهورية الوهمية سنة 2016. هذه هذا التطور وتوقيع أول اتفاق للتعاون بين بلدينا جعل من التنمية البشرية والتضامن جنوب جنوب محورا أساسيا لتطوير العلاقات الثنائية وضمان استمرارها ونحن اليوم نجسد بلقائنا هذا الإرادة المشتركة لجلالة الملك محمد السادس وفخامة الرئيس شان سانتوخي من خلال الرسائل التي تبادلها بمناسبة فوز حزبكم بالانتخابات والارتقاء بعلاقتنا الثنائية إلى أعلى مستوى لقد كان لنا اتصال هاتفي في غشت الماضي وكانت مناسبة لدعوتكم وخلال لقائنا اليوم تبادلنا الحديث حول كيفية تعزيز العلاقة الثنائية إن خارطة الطريق التي وقعناها اليوم خارطة الطريق للتعاون بين الثنائي في لفترة 21-24 ستعطي حافزا قويا لتطوير علاقاتنا الثنائية ولقد اتفقنا على توسيع دائرة الفاعلين في العلاقة الثنائية لتشمل قطاعات حكومية أخرى وكذلك القطاع الخاص